Hi everyone, welcome to the Python basic session where we'll learn how to check the empty string in Python or in other words, we need to check uh, if the string is empty or not using Python. So for this, we'll use five different techniques. We'll use the normal if condition followed by the not operator and then we'll use len function, string.strip and string.space function. So let's start. So this is my Jupyter notebook and we'll use uh, these other five different techniques. So the very first technique is we need to check if the uh, string is empty or not. So we'll say if variable, I have defined this variable where if variable then print else will print. Okay, now if we execute this because there's nothing in my variable, this will be this will show as the input string is empty. We will uncomment this. Now if we execute this, they will show that because the variable value is being replaced by hello. So it will show that it is not empty. What we'll do we'll just replace it by spaces. Variable will have spaces. Now let's see what it still it shows that it is not empty. So it's a simple way how to check. But if we want to check like the same thing, we want to check using a not operator. Okay. So how we we'll copy this and we'll paste it, here. and then here we will say not. Of. If we are saying this not of, then we have to change the wording here. So let's execute this. If we execute this. It is saying string is not empty. So what we have to do, we have to change the wording. Now if we execute this, string is empty. Just uncomment this and now execute this. String is not empty. And similarly, when you uncomment this and execute this, still my string is not. So with using the not operator, it's nothing but a uh, typical uh, this if we have just reversing it. Now then we will go to the length function. For length function, it is simple. It will return you the length. So what we'll do, we'll see. We'll say var and then we'll execute it. So the length of this, it is like nothing, right? Not even spaces. Now, if we execute this, the length function will be will be fine. Now, in this case, then, now we will uncomment this, and then we'll see how many spaces are one, two. So now, if we execute this, we can see we have two bytes. Okay, so the length is two. We need to use this and find whether the string is empty or not. For this, what we'll do, we'll simply paste it this whatever we are doing, and we'll say length of var. So now what we'll do, we'll simply execute this. So length of var will be nothing, right? It will be zero. So that's why it is coming as empty. Now, if you comment this, length of var is zero. That's why it is coming as empty. We will uncomment this. And the moment we execute this, this variable has hello. The length of hello will be how much? Five. So that's why it is coming as not empty. Even in this case, where we will have spaces, this will also come as not empty. So it is very simple just you have to pass the length value now what we will do we will use the string strip along with length so for that what we'll do first we'll say okay now we'll execute what is coming here okay you can see the length of vr strip is how much variable dot strip is on zero so if we execute this it is five if we execute this this will be zero because it will, when you have any field, if you have the leading and trailing spaces or only spaces, it will remove everything. In this case, if you see here, in this case, it will be 11. Though it, uh, what we'll do, we'll put some spaces here. Okay. Now if we execute this, still it will remove the trailing spaces and also the leading spaces. Okay. So you understood, right? The concept of string dot strip. Now what we will do, we'll simply use our logic. And here, what we'll say, we'll say length of where dot strip and now we will execute this so initially what is my value here this is nothing so it will be shown as empty now if we execute this it will be shown as non-empty again if we execute this it will be shown as empty because strip will simply remove the spaces so this is a difference between the whatever i've shown in the previous example and this now the next uh, uh, example is the string space so what we will do we'll just simply say where dot Okay, so let's see what it shows here. We execute this space is there, right? So that's why it will come here. In this, there is no space, so it is false. In this also, there is no space, it's false. And this variable, there is no space, so it will be false. So it is only true on when there is space. All the value is spaces, then only it will be true. So now we'll execute this step by step. Okay, so we'll say if, okay. Okay, now if we execute this input string does not have spaces, right? Now if we execute this example, this example will also show the same. Now if we execute third line, this has spaces because everything is spaces here. That's why it has spaces. Now if we execute the last, though it has spaces in between hello and world, 
but still it will show it as only if it has all the spaces everything is spaces then it will show as spaces else it will show that does not have spaces now what we'll do we'll use this is spaces along with string so that we'll get a proper out so how it will work So now in this case, I want to just see whether it has spaces or not. So it is empty or not empty. In this case, if I am executing this, let me just say change the wording. Okay. So initially nothing is there. So input is empty. Now we'll uncomment this. And if we run this, what will say? It is empty and we have to pass here not. Now if you execute this empty and execute this, it will come as non not empty. So this will uncomment this and execute this. It will also come as no, non empty. Now if you uncomment this and execute it, it is come as empty. So that's how like uh, we can check whether a empty uh, whether a string is empty or not using the several different methods like the normal if conditions using a not with the if condition using a length function using a string dot strip function and using string dot space function so thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to and i'll see you in my next video thank you